Hello there, welcome back to the channel. Well, today, yes, we're going to talk about the AsyncOS 15.0. And yes, mind you, this is the limited deployment. And there are a ton of cool features available in 15.0. And there's one specific feature, one specific addition done in this particular release that I'm extremely excited about and that I'm going to possibly show you a video tutorial on as well. I'm going to talk about that once we go to the first link that is available on page number two. We're talking about what's new in this release. Let's go there. So there are a ton of options in here. What's new? There, there are a lot of new things in here. Your res retrospective verdict and your remediation. So let's say an email reaches the user's mailbox and it had a URL. It has a URL which had an unknown reputation, but that reputation changed to malicious. Now you can remediate that, take action on the on that particular me message that has reached the user mailbox. You can integrate with the threat defense and you got customizing uh, gray mail and subscribe banner. So what are the customizing um, uh, features that what are the customizations that you can go for you got the position of the banner color of the banner text color of the banner message and uh, contents contents of the banner message as well and there's no cli support for this feature in the in this particular release so we're talking about there's no cli support for that but you can go ahead and customize it we're talking about file reputation service a great enhancement there uh, with the 15.0 and onwards um it has a the ESA has a new version of AMP Engine. Now this new AMP Engine uses HTTPS, which is port 443 instead of TCP to ensure secure communication between your ESA and the secure endpoint cloud. There are other things mentioned in here as well. Uh, but before going for the upgrade or making any changes, make sure you go through the prerequisites for file reputation service activation. Uh, subsection as well. Just go in there and uh, take a look at that before going in and making any changes. Now, this is the section I was talking about that I'm super excited about. Obtaining configuration information using AsyncOS APIs. It's not just the information that you can um, uh, fetch. It's not just the configuration information that you can fetch from the AsyncOS APIs. You can actually go ahead and configure stuff uh, using the AsyncOS APIs. In the 15.0 release, you can create, retrieve, update, as well as delete and uh, the various API categories for configuration are authentication APIs, URL lists APIs, dictionary APIs, and the hat APIs. I'm going to talk about all of that in a separate video. Um, but for now, yes, this is what I wanted to uh, wanted you guys to know that, yeah, this is a cool update that, that has been introduced in the 15.0 release. Uh, for the configuration APIs, the administrator and cloud administrator user roles are only supported. So that's something you should make a note of. Uh, if you make a change at the cluster level, the changes would apply to all the machines in the cluster. If you make a change at the, uh, at the group level, uh, the changes are going to be applied to all the machines in the group. If you modify it at the machine level, it's going to apply to only that specific machine. And now there, there is a granular there. There's granular level of information available in uh, the Getting Started Guide, uh, which is also available um, uh, publicly. I'm going to put a link in the description for the release notes, the ones that you're looking at right now. And I'm going to put in the uh, put in the description the link for the Getting Started Guide for the APIs as well, 15.0. Uh, so you don't have to go anywhere. Just click on the link and uh, get access to it. Okay, removal of old Splunk database for email tracking data. Um, even if you go ahead and upgrade, it's going to give you a warning um, before you go ahead and upgrade because you know what? With the 15.0 and later, if the email tracking data is contained in a Splunk database, the system deletes the Splunk database if you proceed with the upgrade. So yeah, just make sure if you like your email tracking data, then uh, you proceed with caution. And there's a note with this one as well. Now, this is another cool one, uh, deleting log files from the email gateway. Now you have this option. You can now delete the log files that are stored in the data public directories path um, of the email gateway. Uh, use the subcommand delete log file under the log 
config command in the CLI. Now you can delete log files only if your email gateway is a standalone machine. Make a note of that as well. So you got FIPS certification, you got something for the virtual appliances, all of this for that Hyper-V AWS um, is your new RAM values and um, a new note for removal of weak algorithms uh, during system upgrade. Feel free to read all of this. As I said, I'm going to put a link in the description. And now this is also something awesome that has been added in this particular release. New DLP policies, predefined classifiers. And you can find these predefined classifiers here. And these are the ones that we're talking about. And there are a lot of them. Now, ECDSA certificate support for SSL communication for the SSL services GUI, HTTPS, and inbound SMTP. Got all of this available, changes in the behavior. Feel free to read all of that as well. Now, another thing that you should um, keep in mind is that you can upgrade it to release 15.0068 from the following versions. And these are the ones we're talking about. And this is LD, mind you, again, I keep uh, reminding you that we're talking about the limited uh, deployment. Okay. So these are the ones. And if you talk about the hardware that supports uh, this, uh, these are the hardware uh, models that we're talking about. These are the ones that did not support this particular release. And um, uh, upgrading a virtual appliance. These, these things are extremely important. You should go through these before you go ahead and make any changes in the virtual appliances, right? So I guess that should be it from this section. I would like to show you the uh, Async OS API guide 15.0. Now this, as you can see right here, is the 15.0 Async OS API um, guide, getting started guide, limited deployment okay uh first published this uh, last modified this now um this is the pdf format i've downloaded it if you go to the url this is the url you're going to directly land on and uh, this is the book title page from the book title page oh i clicked on it i don't know what okay i just clicked on another link now okay anyways so um, on this particular link, I'm going to put it in, in the description, so not a problem. You'll find that there is an extra option added in here, which is the configuration APIs right here, right? So if you click on the uh, configuration APIs, it'll redirect you to that part of the page. It's talking about the authentication, um, authentication APIs. It's talking about the URL list APIs. It's going to talk. It's talking about the dictionary APIs and the hat APIs. Now the cool thing is that it has examples on all of these and how to run these queries as well. So if I go ahead and, for example, click on the dictionary APIs, it's going to let you know that what you can do with this, with the dictionary APIs, you can retrieve a list of all configured dictionaries, and you can add, edit, delete, retrieve a list of words from a specific dictionary, adding words, modifying, deleting existing words, and so on. So you have oh, the get option. You have, for example, if I go ahead and add a new dictionary, if you go there, you have the post as well, right? You'll ha you have the put as well, and you have the delete as well, as um, as you need those um, yeah, you know, uh, those options for for going ahead and making changes to the existing um, data. Uh, in the appliance, right? So yeah, I'm going to talk about all of this in a separate video. And um, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick one on this one. So just to make sure that those of you who did not get a chance to go through the release notes, I'm going to put everything in the description as much as I can in case you want me to do a specific video on anything in specific that I talked about in this particular video. Just let me know uh, in the comment section. I'll be happy to do that. And uh, I'm going to do the APS as well. Extremely, extremely important thing to note. Um, in this video is that those of you who are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe and have a great day ahead. A uh, pleasure. Goodbye.